Hello and welcome. You are joining us here live on our YouTube channel as myself, Gigi Betancourt, who's the marketing coordinator for the Franciscan School of Theology. And I'm joined with my uh, wonderful co-workers, John Gonzalez and Maria Mira, who are going to be talking to you today about our on-campus and our online degree paths. It's all about discovering uh, discover your path where and as we're celebrating in our tribute week if you joined us live yesterday on facebook we're going to be going live each day with uh different departments within uh the franciscan school of theology and then also with special guests alumni current students uh again just celebrating um the success of our alumni and our future graduates welcome john welcome maria i want to i'm going to kick this over to you first john and Introduce yourself, and we're going to go ahead and start our live. Great. Well, uh, yeah, for those who don't know me, my name is John Gonzalez. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions and Recruitment here at FST. Uh, I've been here for, I think it's about eight months now. So it's been, it's been fantastic. Yeah. And I'm going to thank well, John, eight months is... I feel like you've been here for a very long time, very seasoned, very professional, and a pleasure to work with. Thank and you. also, who is wonderful to work with is Maria. I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to you, Maria, and introduce you to our anyone watching. Thank you, Gigi. So, Maria, Maria is my name. Um, I work on the online program and, and basically the partnership between USC and, and the Franciscan School of Theology is where the online program comes in and uh, you will probably be talking to me or one of the enrollment advisors from the USD side if we're talking about the online program. But we do work very closely together with Gigi and John as well. Nice to see everybody here. And welcome again, everyone, whether you tune in you know, live with us or you are able to watch our live uh, later at your own time. If you have a question for our um, experts here today, or if you have a question for our future lives, or you just want to reach out to us, let us know, uh, get in touch with us. It's all about connecting our community. That's our goal. We want to connect everyone together and and really share the good word, what's happening on campus and in our online communities. Uh, as I like to start off with just a little fun little thing, and I kind of like to try with like a theme Today's Tuesday, switching it up a little bit. I'm trying to think of a tasty Tuesday. So as we're thinking about our, you know, food and, you know, what would you, I'm going to, I'm going to ask both John and Maria, what would you say is your favorite treat that you would, you would like to have after work? What would be your favorite treat? So for me, I know that I was already thinking about it earlier. I actually, I really like salt and vinegar chips. And I was like, you know what? That really sounds good right now. A bag of salt and vinegar chips. That would be my go-to little treat. Um, but I was just wondering, you know, like to always kind of kick it off with some fun things before we, uh, you know, as we start our live. So what about you? What about you, John and then Maria? That's, you know, I'm drawing such a huge point. <laughs> And I, I love snacks. I snack all the time. There's like always snacks around the house. Um, and I absolutely love having a snack around at all times. For some reason, the thing that's coming to my mind though, for some reason specifically, have you ever had shrimp chips? Yes, at yeah, Costco. Chips, for some reason are coming to my mind right now. And they sound so good right now. The little puffs. Um, You're going to have to go get them after, after yeah. today. Yeah, they don't taste like shrimp or anything. They, they're called shrimp chips, but they're delicious. And I could eat like a whole bag in one sitting. It's not a good thing, but I can. Um, <laughs> but for some reason, I'm thinking about that right now. I also know we have some chocolate chip cookies on our counter in our home right now. So I'm just sitting. So. No, it's, it's going to sound like him piggybacking on what you guys are saying, but I have two that are depending on the weather, basically, I my go to. <laughs> Uh, one is the chocolate chip cookies, usually when it's cold and, you know, kind of sad day. <laughs> and then the other one is just plain chips. And I usually sprinkle some lime and salt and some salsa in it. And 
Okay. Oh, that is really good. Now, do you do Tapatio or do you do like Cholula? Valentina. 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 Yes, it's so good. I, I put a Cholula on the chips too. And oh my goodness, like it just brings out the flavors. <laughs> See, again, I'm all about like I was thinking about Tuesdays. I'm like, oh, tasty too. Snacks. We're going to go over snacks today. Uh, uh, cookies. Speaking of cookies, yesterday, uh, um, this. The FST, we had our uh, our last mass at the Mission San Luis Rey. And then uh, it was in the St. Clair Chapel where we got to uh, see alumni and really just connect with those in the North County area and then uh, past alumni of, of FST. And then our current graduates. And it was a really good uh, mass presided by Father Garrett. And... But after the mass, there's the the, uh, the Mission San Luis Rey makes these cookies that are just I don't know how they make them so special. It's like they're the perfect they're the perfect size. They're very soft. The flavor is amazing. I, they're probably one of the best cookies I've ever had. So if you ever go up there and uh, and are in the kitchen uh, or attend an event, that you have to have a cookie at the Mission San Luis Rey. My my seal of approval. <laughs> noted yes <laughs> all right well and uh i hope that everyone watching later or right now you're able to uh get a tasty treat yourself and enjoying your snack and you know drop in your comment too of what your favorite snack is i always like to hear because then it helps us like try new things uh but without further ado like ado Let's talk to you about our programs. John, tell us uh, what's happening on campus. How's how's everything going? Talk to us about our program, our programs that are on campus and then upcoming events. Sure, absolutely. So, you know, we have limited time. So, of course, this is very introductory, um, but that's what I'm here for, right? So if any program kind of catches your interest, then we'll talk about it. But at least here we can give you a, a general intro just to at least to know the differences between the ones that we have to offer. And of course, I'll let Maria talk about the online program as well, but um, we're on campus. We have the Master of Divinity, which is a great option for those pursuing ministry. So for those who want to serve, minister, um, seeking ordination, of course, you can't be ordained through the program, but if you're seeking that, that's one step you can take towards that goal. Um, then this is a really solid program for that. Um, there's also a seminar component which, which means that you will actually be serving in a ministry setting while you're in the program. It's, it's worth into it. So you can find somewhere where you want to serve. And there's a multitude of different options of where you might want to serve and use, uh, participate for your seminar hours. Um, we also have a certificate in priest of formation that can piggyback off of that as well or add on to it. So if you are studying ordination, you can do the MDiv with the certificate. And then, of course, you still have to, it's still the decision of the local diocese. Um, and superiors, of course, religious orders who have to, to go through all the further uh, expectations and whatnot requirements, but at least those two items can help you along that path. We also have the Master of Theological Studies for those who are interested in learning or teaching a really a, a long list of things. Uh, if you've ever gone to CVS and for just one item, you get like this really long receipt that's like five feet long. I call it a CVS receipt of your <laughs> possibilities by going to this program because it really is a possibility, there are endless possibilities for what you can do with this program. You can um, pursue nonprofit work, teaching, um, maybe working in like a ministry, like a parachurch ministry setting, or even just incorporating your theology into your profession, whatever that may be, or even just for personal enrichment. We have several students that enroll in this program without really a goal in mind. They just know they want to grow in their knowledge of theology, or they want to grow in theology and their knowledge of scripture. And they're just seeing where God's going to lead that. So there's even students who just enroll for personal enrichment and just leaving it up to God to see where that's going to be guided. Um, and then we have the Master of Arts, which is great for those pursuing doctoral work. So it allows for a specialization in Franciscan studies. Um, and then such specialization prepares students to work in um, programs of religious formation um, or in translation and publication of theological and historical texts um, and preparation of printed Electron or electronic materials. There's really, um, so those are the three main programs. Now that's a very general overview. There's a lot more to go over with each program, specific courses, things like that. That's what I'm here for, like I mentioned before. So if you're, you're just watching and you're like, I have no idea which is right for me, or I want to know more, 
reach out to me, schedule an appointment with me. We can talk about you. I really want to hear about you, whoever is interested in the program, because then we can help narrow down the options to find the path that's right for you. Um, and I've been doing this for a while, so I, I know the questions to ask. Um, typically, if you're not, if you don't know what questions to ask, I I'll ask them for you, uh, and then just you can answer me back, and we'll help you find the right exact track to go down. If you don't know, for example, with MTS or MDiv, if you don't know, that's okay. The first year or so of courses are the same anyway, so you have some time to explore your options before committing to either track. So that's a general overview of our on-campus degree programs. Thank you. Thank you for that, John. And we'll come back to talk about some additional things. But Maria, talk to us a little bit about uh, some key things about our online program. And, you know, some uh, some individuals that are tuning in might not know that we offer a fully online degree option. Right. So difference between the MTS on campus and online, there's three differences. One is Obviously, it is online. It's 100% online. You don't have to be on campus at any moment. Uh, so you can be in Argentina taking the, the program. And as long as you do your coursework, you can do it on your own time. Different timelines, different. Um, you do need to speak English, obviously. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's very self-paced. And then we do have. Um, the Franciscan Focus. So the full name of the program is Masters in Theological Studies in Franciscan Theology. So you will dive deep into Franciscan theology, the writings of St. Francis, the writings of uh, St. Clair, and how do you apply it to today's world? Um, and then the other difference is the, just the amount of units that you take. So the on-campus program has 48 units 12 of those units are electives. The online program, the Franciscan Theology program, is only 36, so it's a little bit shorter. You can finish it in uh, two years. Um, it, I mean, if you go the path that we have set up, um, it's only two years. And then you don't have the 12 electives, so it's all the one path, the Franciscan Theology. Um, I believe that's it. I don't know any other questions. Like John already said, there's so many things that you can do with a master's in theological studies. It would probably take an hour a day to go over this. <laughs> Absolutely. I wanted to kind of just talk about for both the online campus or the online degree and the on-campus degrees, as far as the Still, uh, the program, the classes are by world-renowned scholars of the FST faculty. So, as far as that Franciscan education, you're getting you're getting the education from a Franciscan lens, both on our online and our on-campus degree. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I didn't mean to say that the on-campus no, program yeah. does not. Uh, it's just no, no, no. A absolutely, very focused, laser focused. In the in Franciscan theology, when it comes to the to the online program, absolutely no. I think more uh, a few questions have come up on social lately of oh our our on our online degree is it taught by uh, FST professors and are the are the classes um, put together by our our professors and you know that's something I wanted to make sure that everyone knows that yes whether you're on campus or pursuing an online degree the path that you're getting the Franciscan education. Yeah, and to do some name dropping over there, we have Brother Bill Short, Father Garrett, uh, Dr. Darlene Price. To name a few, I know um, we've had a few videos up already on the YouTube channel with Father Mike, uh, Mike Plastic. So all very Franciscan, you know, top level names out there. Absolutely. If you go to our website, you could go to the faculty page. Actually, I would say, I don't know, if you go, go ahead and go to the, mm -hmm. the faculty web uh, page on our website, and you can click on each one. You can see all the different accomplishments they have, all the different uh, articles they've written, books, they're involved in different organizations. It's a great way to get to know the professors and who you'll be learning from while you're here. Even going to our YouTube channel, too, you can find different videos we've done, 
highlighting or interviewing faculty members so you can get to know them a little bit. They're all phenomenal people. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to talk, I know that there's some, uh, you know, some are special dates coming up or today is actually uh, a, a special day. Can you tell us what today is uh, uh, for our online community? Sure. So a, a little bit of background, The we do enroll for the online program three times a, uh, a year. So we have the spring semester, the summer semester, and then we have the, the fall semester and, or terms as we usually call them. Today is the, um, let me backtrack just a little bit more. The Each semester has two courses, basically. So you will take one class, uh, the first part of the semester, and then the second class, the, se the second part of the semester. Oh, Today wow. is the start of the second class of the summer semester. Oh, fantastic. Because so, they're all, it's asynchronous, correct? Yes. So shout out to everybody out there starting their their <laughs> second part of the summer semester today. Absolutely, and congratulations! So, and then good luck on your course. And if you have, you know, any questions, absolutely reach out to your academic advisor. So, and and John, uh, talk to us about some any special dates coming up, or you know, and then Maria talked about the terms of it. You know, as far as our. Uh, uh, what about at the online campus? Do you do what terms do we have as far as enrolling students? Right, so we, we have fall and spring, and then summers would be off. So, um, you know, for those who want to, uh, to jump in, I mean, we're taking applications for the fall term right now. And by the way, the deadline for that is July 15th. And that was going to be one of my one of the big dates coming up right now July 15th, application deadline for the fall term. I do not recommend waiting until July 15th. For that, though, um, I recommend getting your documents in as soon as possible. We already have students that are applying now for fall, and it's just important not to wait until the last minute. And so it, just to make it as stress-free as possible, I, I always tell applicants, please go ahead and um, start getting that doc those documents in now. But of course, you might want to still know about the program, so reach out to me, and then I can help with that. So um, as far as one of the dates coming up that's july 15th there's some other dates coming up soon too but i know you're hosting the show gg so let me know yes no you're good i say right. i say let's talk about any upcoming dates that are for both cool. the on-campus and the online program so john since you're you, okay. you i would love you for you to share anything that's coming up that uh we'd like everyone to hear about sounds good cool um so yeah july 15th but let's let's move a little bit closer to where we are now as far as dates go uh, May 15th, we will have an uh, information table at Sacred Heart Parish in Coronado. So we have a current student who also helps us out in admissions here. And, and she'll go out to parishes and, and visit them and we'll have an information table outside. So it's really an opportunity for those who are interested in our degree programs to talk to a current student. It's one thing to hear from me in admissions. It's another thing to actually connect with a current student and get to know about their experience. So. Um, our current student, Brenda, will be at Sacred Heart in Coronado May 15th, Sunday, May 15th. And if you would like for for us to visit your parish as well, let us know. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have to go through all the proper channels, of course, in scheduling that. But let us know, and, and we'd be happy to know who we have to get connected with so we can get that all squared away. Um, we also have a Zoom lecture coming up on May 19th by Father and Dr. Robert uh, Karras. I believe I'm pronouncing it their name correctly, that's it, uh, who will be speaking on Luke 10, 30 to 35. That's the parable of the compassionate Samaritan. Um, so that's coming up soon. Uh, that's online, Zoom lecture. And then May 28th is a big deal as well. That's commencement for our FST graduates. That's at the Mission San Luis Rey. Um, always a fun celebration, a great time. I'll be celebrating those who have been working so hard their degree programs, and now they get to celebrate that achievement of completing their program um, and then a little bit further in the future we have june 23rd is our next open house it's not published or anything like that yet but just a heads up june 23rd we'll have an open house 3 to 5 p.m we'll be releasing more information on that coming up soon along with the link to rsvp in the near future but just so you have it on your radar that's one of the best ways to get to know fst and what we have to offer so if you can't make it to that 
then just reach out to me and we can always meet one-on-one -on -one and go over anything else that we would have covered at the um, the open house. So that's what's coming up. And then of course your social media stuff that you're, that you're leading all week, Gigi. But that's pretty much as far as announcements for the on-campus program. Wonderful, thank you for Thank you for letting us know what's happening on campus. Appreciate it. And Maria, I know you, you, we talked a little bit about today being one of the dates, but is there anything to, for our um, online community that's coming up or things that you're working on? I know that you talked about webinars and um, other things as far as um, articles that are going to be uh, written and, and the website's always being um, updated. So can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on um, coming up, or what look what to look forward to? Sure. Well, um, I guess if you visit the the online program page, you will find um, that we also have a blog, and the blog has a lot of interesting information. You will find things about theology in there, but also if you're interested in knowing what's the difference between uh, an MDiv and the MTS or similar um, career paths. Uh, we do have some comparisons in there that are very helpful when you're trying to decide what path to take, as we're talking about today. Um, and then we are also working on some, it's, uh, it's a video interview that I did with Father Mike, and it's going to be also a blog post where we're comparing difference between uh, Masters in Theological Studies, uh, or what is um, apologetics and catechesis. So, Though they are very related, they're not exactly the same, and it's, it's good to know the differences. Um, also working on a few things about how to get involved in your church and um, a few other articles that are along the same uh, path. Um, webinars are not yet scheduled. We're still working on some of the uh, points that we have to talk about, but uh, they are coming. So you, you if you follow social media, FSTs or just the program itself, we will we'll be sharing all of those dates. And then just um, we are already enrolling for the fall term, if anybody wants to start. The deadline is not until August, but it does take about six weeks to finalize an application. So it is it, it comes sooner than one thinks uh, those deadlines. Well, wonderful. And uh, definitely follow uh, the YouTube channel where we do share all the information or go to the website is listed in the banner below. Um, and we'll also put the information in on the, um, the caption of on the live today. So just so you can, if you're interested in discussing more and learning more about our on-campus degree options, looking um, where you see your, as you're discerning your future and what degree path is right for you, the information will be provided, whether you talk to Maria and her team or John and his team. And he, uh, we're just excited for you to learn more about the Franciscan education. And again, it's just celebrating everyone, whether you attend our lectures or you attend our continuing education, that is our summer classes, uh, be sure to check out that information is coming up. We'll be starting shortly and we have six weeks of summer courses, uh, which is fantastic because there's additional classes. It means there's a, it's a, a big need in the area and those are all online and how you are able to register is you go on our website or you go on um, our, uh, our social media pages as well. You can find the information. And again, it's connecting everyone. So again, whether you're a degree seeking student, whether you're friends of FST take, or um, attending our online lectures, whether you're watching our YouTube videos, whether you're downloading eBooks off of, of the, uh, from our online uh, courses, it's connecting all to the Franciscan education and we appreciate you. And I wanted to, um, a part of Tribute Week is we're going to be sharing videos from graduations that we've had in the past and be on the lookout for those. Be on the, and we're also going to be going live tomorrow on Facebook where we'll be welcoming special guests and alumni to be joining us and sharing their stories because the best way to hear what's happening in the community is hearing from our FST students. Um, 
And we're very, very excited for this time next year where we'll be talking about our graduates of the online program. We'll be welcoming, welcoming our online students to be uh, participating on campus graduation and where we celebrate all graduates, whether you're on campus or online program. So that'll be a, I can't believe we're already talking about that too. It's, this seems, it seems unreal, honestly. <laughs> It went so quickly and just, it's been, it's been such a wonderful experience. Absolutely. And to be, I, and to be a part of it. <laughs> that's what I was just going to say. Uh, I started working with the program a year ago, actually, um, like at the end of April, 2021. And it's been a year and it does, it, it feels like I'm still new, but it, it's been such a trip to get to know all the students that the ones that I do get to, to, um, co have conversations with, and then the teachers, the faculty members, even in color care, it's, it's all been an amazing experience. And, and I am doing most of the work online. So I know that all the students online are having a similar experience, which is amazing. Yes, I agree. And John, all the work that you're doing on campus and bringing Bring, getting that information out and helping those find and discover their path. I thank you for all your efforts. And and you said eight months earlier. I'm telling you, it does not feel like eight months. I, like, I was like, oh, John's been here for a very long time. So um, we've, there's, we've done a lot. There's been a lot that's been happening. <laughs> FST yes. is, you know, we, we keep busy. We, there's a lot that uh, that is accomplished in just a short amount of time from everyone on the team here, on the staff. It's been amazing like i said i look back on the last several months and like, so many things have happened so many cool things have happened already so it flies yeah. by you joined us at our our graduation that was where your yeah. first like you 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 were you jumped right in during our graduation yeah. all the all the celebrations that we had mm -hmm. that was right that, there yes so we'll be there again shortly in a couple weeks looking and being able to, to celebrate yeah. everyone so really looking forward to it yep well, thank you both. If I wanted to give you a chance, do you have any final, you know, words or anything that we that I might have missed or um, that you'd like to say before we um, tell everyone I see you later today? Um, just a little bit about the website that we're sharing, um, the San oh, Diego yes. edu Franciscan Theology. Um, that page is it guides you to the online programs for. Um, San Diego State, I mean, for San Diego University, the University of San Diego, sorry, <laughs> USD. Um, but it's the same program. So it's just part of the curricular partnership that USD and, and FSD have. Um, those, if you fill the form right there, you will be connected to an enrollment advisor that um, will be able to talk to you whenever you on your own schedule, basically. And that's why we don't list an actual phone number because they try to get to your time. If it's eight o'clock in the afternoon and Eastern time or eight o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know, Greenwich time, um, we are, we're all trying to connect. Um, but because of the differences in, in hours and time, time, time it's difficult to give a phone number and have them be ready for you to call. So usually the enrollment advisor will reach out to you. Um, that's the only difference you will see between the online program and the on-campus program. That is a very good point. Thank you for bringing that up, Maria. That I did, right now I wouldn't want because earlier when we were talking about a phone number, I'm like, you're absolutely right. It's that time difference because what if you are coming, you know, calling us, calling it from the East Coast or or from another country, you could be calling us from, you know, uh, from Australia, and then there you have that at 13 hours difference. So I'm, I'm glad that we're able to connect our, you know, those that are interested in the program with an invite, you know, with someone that would be able to help them. And the best way to do that is on the link that you see right here listed. And then if you're interested on the on campus, uh, and you want to talk to john a little further, if you see this uh, live, you could reach john uh and that this is a, a phone number and then also john's email um send him over a shout out and he'll be able to help you that's right yeah i would say don't wait you know, if you're saying i'll reach out to john tomorrow i'll reach out to fst tomorrow i'll reach out to the school tomorrow 
but before you know it's five days have passed just reach out to me today you know we're here to chat we're here to talk um yeah like i said the deadline is coming up soon for the for the application uh july 15th i want to echo that um and then of course classes starting august 29th i didn't mention that earlier but fall starts august 29th so we do want to make sure we get you ready so the sooner you get started on the process the more time you have to get everything done and the less stressed you'll be and the more relaxed you'll be able to start and just the more successful and confident you'll feel jumping into the term so feel free to reach out to me don't hesitate so we're here for to help well thank you both for thank you both for joining uh, me today as we went live with and just talking about our programs and as individuals are discerning their path and showing that there's uh, many opportunities that you can partake in at the Franciscan School of Theology, whether online, on campus, uh, or or if you'd like to just attend one of our lectures or our continuing education for the summer, uh, there's, there's something for everyone here at FST. And we just want to celebrate the community and just and connect everyone uh, and and to be able to help you know, spread the joy of the Franciscan charism. So thank you, John and Maria, for joining me today. I appreciate you. And I look forward to going uh, live with you again. It's always fun. Lives are fun. I, You know, at first I was like, oh, we're going to go live. And then I was like, oh, these are great because we could talk about the program. It's a very organic, smooth process. And it taught, you know, and we're able to chat and, and connect people. So I, th I thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Okay. Well, thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Until next time, folks. Bye.